to every speaker. So I will then okay, thank invite. You, thank, you. thank you very much. So I will then invite uh, Serbi Mishra to present uh, another uh, paper uh, regarding transsexualism. Are you here, please? Yes, ma'am. Oh, am I? Please. Visible? Hello. Yes, you are. Yeah, please. Yeah. yeah. Sure, ma'am. Yeah. Is my uh, screen visible? Yes, it is. And I do insist on being, you know, to fit in timing. Yeah, sure, ma'am. Is it fine? Yes, please start. Yeah, yeah, sure, ma'am. So, uh, uh, hello everyone, I am Subhi. Uh, today I'm going to present uh, Understanding Transsexual, a Sociological Approach in Indian Context. So most research on gender focuses upon the male and female dichotomy that reinforce the gender binary. The social construction of gender tends to normalize and demand for conformity of two gender identity, that is male and a female. There are many theories which focuses upon the binary gender identity, their problems, issues, status and development. Culture also dictates society to maintain it, like through the... Uh, Repetitive performance, as Butler talked about, how performativity is be being done in society and how a particular uh, set of role is being uh, seen normal and some sort of uh, role is being seen as uh, uh, abnormal and deviant. So, uh, like uh, the exclusive category of tools, uh, so the recently there has been uh, attention given to the different gender identities uh, in recent. Uh, uh, time. So uh, in India, there are three different uh, gender identities, uh, uh, like uh, legally, uh, male, female, and third gender, also known as transgender. So, uh, so transgender is an umbrella term that uh, describes gender different people who do not have conventional gender expressions, experiences, and behaviors, according to UNDP, which means uh, in the term transgender, there can be a people who have who do not have gender non-conformativity, gender atypical, gender asexual, non-binary gender. So transsexual is a subset of transgender uh, category, and uh, I am particularly working in this uh, uh, context. So. Uh, to understand transsexualism, one is to understand gender dysphoria. So gender dysphoria is when a person's gender identity and the sex are, uh, given to them at birth conflict. It means that the most extreme instances of gender dysphoria is transsexualism. So transsexual people are those who uh, are opposite to their assigned sex at birth. They belong to the opposite sex uh, and they have experience of gender dysphoria. And they uh, they have they actually go for uh, physical external changes such as sex reassignment surgery and hormone therapy. So some of the discourses around transsexualism in medical field uh, have been uh, like talked about, such as it's a it's just a condition, it's a phenomenon, it's a mental and illness or mental disorder, it's a neuroendocrine disorder, it's a gender identity disorder, it's a pathological disorder. So. Uh, Transsexual and transgender, what is the difference between these two? So transsexual, they actually go for a physical uh, change appearance through sex assignment sur surgery and hormone treatment, and they take. Transgender, they necessarily don't go for uh, any kind of physical appearance. They can go for, but they don't experience any kind of gender dysphoria inside their body. They do not fear about their body. Per se. So there are two school of thought in this uh, discourse. So the first school of thought talks about uh, deals with the sex as a matter of individual psychology and their social identification. It deals with the sex as a question of fact. The biological sex can be replaced and as it is not fixed. The second school of thought talks about the sex as a matter of pure biology or medicines and treat it is a uh, treat in in terms of laws. It says that person's biological sex cannot be changed as it is fixed during the time of birth. So there are two different school of thought who gives uh, like the courses on transgender uh, like in a broader way. So what is so, so the scenario of transsexuals in India is that transsexual doesn't keep under the, uh, doesn't keep under the category of trans uh, tra separately, but uh, it actually keeps under the category of transgender and it got recognized in 2011. And uh, legally, uh, they have given rights to, uh, to, uh, to them in 2014 uh, by NASA versus Union of India. So the aims of object aims and objectives of this study is to understand the social experience of transsexuals in their everyday life. Uh, 
uh, my method and methodologies are like I have used qualitative method, narrative inquiry to understand the respondents uh, and uh, to understand the respondents' uh, history, uh, the history of the story, the present uh, and the future planning uh, in regard of their health and uh, social uh, context. Uh, collection of data is based on semi-structure and in-depth interviews. I have used snowball and purposive, sa purposive sample as I have uh, all, uh, I have only focused on trans men and trans women who have or uh, who have uh, taken who have taken uh, like uh, SRS sex reassignment surgery or uh, taking hormone therapy to do the sex reassignment surgery, not who are planning to. So number of my respondents are 36, where 20 are trans men and 16 are, 16 are trans, um, uh, sorry, 20 are trans women. Sorry, it is actually a mistake. I have done the mistake. 20 are trans women and 16 are trans men. And they none of are staying with the family. And uh, they mostly work in the informal sector. And the informal sec sectors, they are working in the very lower position. They all have migrated. And their medical positionality, as I have said that, uh, some of them have uh, like uh, done their SRS and some are, some are on hormones. Some of the non-profit organize uh, some of the non-profit organization has taken the responsibility of transgender community for their development, such as Periphery, Hamsapur Trust, Tweet Foundation, Safo. Among all these Periphery and Tweet Foundation prominently working for trans people. Uh, Periphery provides training and employment opportunities to trans people and Tweet Foundation working more for their shelters. Periphery has tied up with the companies having trans policies and gave employment to trans communities on the basis of their qualification. Companies like IBM, Tech Mahindra, Accenture, Godrej uh, Group, Cognitive. And Amazon, Uber, etc., etc., give the medical insurance to transsexual employees for gender reassignment surgery. So, what kind of problem they face uh, transsexual in their everyday life? So, first of all, they have a problem of uh, pronunciation issues. He or she, because transsexual, uh, particularly transsexual, they actually uh, uh, like uh, identify uh, of the opposite sex. A male can be identified as a female, and female can be identified as a male. So, in the family, they actually. Uh, there, there is a conflict uh, situation going on because uh, uh, because uh, in the family uh, a, a woman feels like she's a, a woman feel like she's a man uh, she's a man and uh, there is a family actually tries to not uh, try not to incorporate uh, her or try not to you know uh, support her in that way so i quote uh, one of my respondents said one of my respondents uh, said However, few people understand it is not that they are unable to understand. Some folks understand and, under, uh, uh, and address me as a madam when they see me. I felt like killing myself at the time. Uh, this is to say I am a horrible way. Yes, some people do address this, uh, that I commit suicide right here, there, right there and there. Uh, that's I am really bothered when working. Uh, that individual appears to be very uh, bad. That is trans men. Uh, basically and he talks about how actually he feels at the workplace gender correctness is always going on in the society in workplace in the family relatives everywhere performativity is also there like people assume that uh, since you are a male you have to perform in a certain way as uh, given by society uh, male has to uh, perform as a masculine way female has to uh, perform in a feminine way so one of the respondents and i quote my real never uh, my real uncle never backed me up they do not grant me permission to attend wedding festi festivities or anything else yes the children's marriage do not take place i they won't let me because they told me why should i change myself if you come as a regular boy we will let you but if you change yourself we will not allow you, you in your, our family that means uh, they are not even uh, like uh, they are not even uh, like accepted in family in society in public spaces in workplace so there is no family support. The continuous rejection of identity and an acceptance act, uh, face uh, transsexuals community. So they face isolation, homelessness, uh, economic and financial issues, substance use such as drag, drugs and alcohol. So this is a structural violence actually being uh, actually happens in transsexual community because of the family and acceptance they migrate. Uh, either they are being thrown out or they actually. Uh, uh, like migrate uh, because of the pressure of the family. They migrate, they become homeless. When they, they become homeless, they become vulnerable. So they are being discriminated in each and every space in the society. So there please, is a please go into the conclusions. Yeah, yeah sure. Ma I mean, yeah. even, even if you speak very fast, we're still uh, getting very late. So I do need your understanding. We need uh, your understanding. Okay. okay. So, uh, 
So my findings are uh, the transsexual community are one of the most excluded and extremely discriminated community. They are not only marginalized, but marginalized but also segregated in the society. The present study has observed that there is always a social stigma attached to the transsexuals. They are in the most disadvantageous position in different social institutions like family of orientation, educational institutions, and various other economic institutions such as workplace. Even the family of orientation, they face violence, abuse, and harassment at the hands of parents and siblings. They are being bullied and getting harassed. Therefore, transsexuals suffer in getting education. The transsexual face hostile environment in the school by the teachers and students both. Finally, they left with no option but leave their education midway or some complete their education just for the sake of getting employment uh, and survival home and thus uh, they're, they're left with no option but to migrate to another city without any support from the family. First they migrate, then they face lots of issues in getting house on rent. Because of the unemployment and uh, unemployment in the city and being in a new city, male to female, uh, particularly transsexuals, forced to do uh, sex work business to survive in their everyday life too. Uh, transsexuals are abused uh, like verbally, physically as well as sexually, but police never pay heed uh, to their complaint and seldom register their complaints. In terms of uh, female to male transsexuals, they get small jobs relatively easy, easily due to patriarchal code of conduct. The findings of the uh, present day, uh, present study bring social exclusion approach into the center, stage wherein the transsexuals are excluded from the mainstream of society. This exclusion leads them to live disadvantageous uh, lives. It uh, has been observed that the exclusion of transsexuals compel them into drug addiction, depression, loneliness, and also towards suicide. The story of transsexual is based on the traumatic, abusive, and discriminative treatment at the hands of family, society, and state. Hence, center and the state government need to needs to provide special provision and the policies for the upliftment of uh, for transsexual so that they can be brought to the mainstream society. It is important for them to live with dignity and pride, like an ordinary citizen of a citizen of the state. Thank you. Thank you.